Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescaserakes.com, knocking out another case of 2022 Tops Clearly Authentic Baseball 20 box picker team number 7. Big thanks to everyone here for making this happen. If you have a little rooftop next to your hand, that means you won that spot in the uh, filler that we did. So big thanks everybody for getting on the action. Appreciate it. Travis, you ended up with last spot mojo before we pulled out the remaining of the teams. Yeah, Riffer, there he is in the chat looking for a Jeter or a Judge. All right, good luck everyone. Let's pop this case open. There you go, clearly authentic. I guess he didn't find the right box. Could be a supply chain issue. That's why they have to fill it with all these paper too. Yeah, cl clear I think just flying all over the place. Like a like a, like a like a football referee's flag. Boom. All right, there's, there's 20 boxes here. Everyone, everyone make sure you keep count. We're going to start off with Logan Gilbert. We were talking a little Mariners baseball before we started this video. Logan Gilbert for Nestor and the Mariners. Got the Nest, got the Nestor, got the Seattle in the uh, in the uh, filler break. I don't know. Still learning. Still learning. We got Chaz McCormick. 8 out of 10 for the Strohs. That's going to be for Nathan. Does Logan make the... Does, I guess it would be Robbie Ray, Luis Castillo, and then who's, like a, who's going to be the third starter? A third starter. There's Reed Detmers, rookie auto for the Halos. That's going to be for Joe. He's, who else is in the mix? He's got to, right? Oh, Kirby, that's right. Hmm. Next up is Will the Thrill, Will Clark. 75. For my rivals, the Giants, Mark. The Giants. Yeah, I mean, I think Kirby, yeah, Kirby might have pitched his way into a rotation spot. Here's Jaron Duran Duran. Save a prayer for me now, or save it till the morning after. Diego with the Red Sox. Jaron Duran Duran. Not not too bad having Logan Gilbert come out of the, the pen, though. Maybe for long relief duty or something like that. There's Casey Mize. Get well soon, Casey Mize. 72 out 75. Generation now autograph going to... Going to Kevin M. and the Tigers. Tiger uppercut. We've got Jordan Alvarez. We were just talking about him before this video, talking about, you know, just some bad baseball trades in recent memory. Andrew Friedman, the Dodgers GM, said that he doesn't regret most trades, but that one he does. He's like, that's, he's like that, that one was obviously a mistake.
Next up is mm, burgers. Jake Burger. I'll say I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm looking forward to a uh, a future Jake Burger and Seth Beer dual auto. White Sox. Kyle Harper with the shy socks. You know, I've not seen a single episode of that of Cobra Kai. I've been told that it is, it's actually quite good. There's a Captain Jack Flaherty. Cardinals, that's going to go to Richard and the Redbirds. Next up is Jake McCarthy, 11 out of 99. For the Snakes, the X-Line, the Diamondbacks. Dodgers and Diamondbacks are tied at two in the top of the ninth. Oh, Rex thinking a a burger, beer, and newt bar triple auto? That'd be pretty cool. And we've got Austin Meadows, the Meadow. What movie is that from? The Meadow. That's a deep. That's a deep cut, I think. Tampa Bay Rays. That'll be for Adam and the Rays. Oh, he's, he's gonna walk him. Good eye, Cody. Good eye. All right. Next up is Hoy Park, rookie auto for the Pirates. Oh, I see. There, because there's another logo right there. I was losing my mind for a second. I, for a second, I thought he had signed the back of the card. Um, Matthew with the Pirates. Yeah, meanwhile, I'm sure there'll be plenty for me to do next week. There should, there should be plenty of cases to do for both. What up, Doc? Dwight Gooden for James and the Metropolitans. Come on, Cody. Deep breath. Focus. You got the average of 200. You're above the Mendoza line. Nice. Good eye. That's a walk. All right, we got Robin Yount. 55 out of 99 for the Brew Crew. It's for Patrick and the Brewers. Six more to go. Paul O'Neill. Uh, Yankees. Okay. I don't know if this this it's not the Yankee that Riffer was looking for. Do you think Paul O'Neill should have gotten his number retired? Am I am I underrating Paul O'Neill? Right, his number got retired, right? I mean. There's Max Muncy, 85 out of 99. Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. That goes to Matthew and the Dodgers. Got the Dodgers in the uh, the filler here. Well, I had two homes for me. Paul O'Neill, this stripper. He was amazing on Seinfeld, says Chad. Was a part of a lot of World Series champs, but. I mean, O'Neill's the 23rd Yankees player or manager, according to MLB.com, to have his number retired the first, and in the first since Derek Jeter. 
There's Alejo Lopez, 6 out of 99. That is for the red legs. That's going to go to John and the Reds. Next up is Jake Myers. Jake, 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 Jake. 16 out of 99. That's for Nathan and the Astros. Jakey. Yo, Jake. All right, next up is Fernando Tatis Jr. 64 out of 99, that's for the Padres, that's for the X-Line. The motorcyclist, the ringwormer. It's gonna take a little time for him to work his way back into the good graces of the people, but I don't know, an MVP caliber season probably does it, right? Then all's forgiven. Colton Welker. That's for the X-Line and the Rockies. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Another case of Clearly Authentic in the books. We did load up another case. Let's run it back. I'm Joe for Jaspiescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.